Wow, that is laggy. In any case, welcome back to the original flashback, the last video where we're going to beat level six and seven in one sitting. And I hope I don't, I hope I don't come to, uh, what's the word actually? Wow, why is it so laggy all of a sudden? Uh, I hope I don't come to regret that. Oh well. Let's fight some more old school morphs here. A bit trickier, but much quicker. Usually. They have varying, varying, varying levels of health here. And still that's annoying, annoying habit of not getting up. I guess I can get behind that. I also sometimes have troubles getting up. But still, not to this extent. Especially when not when not when it's inconveniencing other people like this situation. Please tell me it's not my imagination that these guys take start taking less hits as the level goes deeper and deeper. Oh well, in any case Let's go. Now, after seeing the level in the new game, I'm starting to see this in a bit of a different light. You see that background I usually took as uh, sky, but maybe it was always meant to be some sort of cavern, like in the new game. This is interesting. I'm still going to perceive it as sky, hopefully. I like it more as a sky, honestly. So this is the morph level of the morph uh, version of the jungle, as I said in the previous video. Also, someone is phoning, but it's not like I'm going to pick that up. So, well, I, I wonder if you can even hear that in the background. Da -da -da. Still better than the silence that this game usually goes by, by, with, after, under, whatever. I wonder if I cut out that rambling part about my f dream about the flashback game that I did when I was fighting the first morph to spawn on after the ultimate ultra brain or whatever it's called. Probably did to be honest. Because that was way too long. Also this is pointless here but I think maybe there's a health region? Yeah there's a health region. Do I need it? No I don't. Um, this is a bit of a peak at level 7. You see these levels are separated, I don't know why exactly, and I, I believe this is just a copy of the same rooms that appear eventually in level 7. It's not like one level, continuous level, that just it, they close my access to the part of the level that is that comprises level 6. But it's an interesting, at some point there is a point of no return here and it drops into a place where you would backtrack after a, a bit of a linear part, which is level 6, they drop you into level 7, which is a bit of a backtracking part. Okay, they didn't have these in the original, I mean in the new one, oh man, I'm going to have to relearn before I... Yeah, this is kind of pointless here, but still. Oosh! I want to drop down there gently. Not by rolling. Oh, there goes that plan. I'm going to be f fucked here. And it's laggy as shit also. Yep, there we go. I think he... He damaged me without standing up. This is a bit of a pickle. Thank you guys for being kind of sort of in sync. And thank you for all standing up when one of you stands up. That's That makes it much more convenient for me. Okay, never mind. No, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, one of them is already dead and it's less like now and yep, there we go. They definitely took less damage there and it is much appreciated. 
Okay, there's a variation of that puzzle that we saw earlier. Um, usually I leave a stone on that tripwire, but now I can make more use of my teleporters and maybe save my stone for when I really, really need it in the future. I don't recall there being such an opportunity to use a stone later that I would need, but still. Also, there is a mouse, and that is, I think, maybe the single actually useful mouse in the game. Oh, I can use the stone here. I think this, like, disables a disintegrator or something. Wait, why did I do that? Uh, and so I can maybe save the mouse for later, or I can keep it as a pet. And I think what you were supposed to do here was maybe take the mouse and make it go down there or something. Well, there's multiple solutions, obviously. This part, this fucking part, stumped me for so long. Just because of a thing that never happens anywhere else in the game, but here. That door on the bottom there thinks it's just like, ah, innocent door like any other, but no! Fuck you! That single door in the game that you have to shoot for it to open. That is bullshit of the highest caliber possible. And now this guy's going to die. Spoiler alert. I tried to stop that guy a lot of times, but I never succeeded. I don't think you can teleport there and take the hit or something like that. I don't think it's possible, although now it kind of makes me wonder if it is possible, because it seems like it should be. You know what, I'm going to save here and I'm going to rewind. I'm going to do this. Good thing I have these emulator tools at my disposal. So, what happens if I am to say... Can I teleport here actually first? Yes, I can. So, what if I was to do that switch thing and then quickly, quickly teleport back up there? Oh well, predictably it didn't work. Wow, you can't see him behind the column. That's that's a bit of a dick move. I guess in a sense foreground elements obscuring enemies. But you can tell, you can tell when he's rising up there, so it's not a problem. If nothing else, morphs have cool animations in this game. Yeah, and they're much more bearable to kill and murder. Talk to me, bro. Or just hand me this cigar, which is also a bomb. Okay, now you can die peacefully. Uh, atomic charge. There's no neurophage or virus, we're straight up nuking this shit. Oh yeah, I remember this part to be a bit of a bitch, so to say. But I wonder if I can do it here. Yep, I think there's enough room for me to roll here. I can probably kill him safely. Well, that elevator sound is going to get on my nerves, not to mention the tripwire sound. Oh no, you disrupted my, my whole thing. And now I'm going to fall here. And it's all going to shit because of you. I hope you're happy. Probably are actually. Yep, that's something that happens. I will be back. Be right back. Here you are again. Trying to still do the same thing. Hopefully this time it'll work. Because I want to pick that thing up in peace. Because it's an interesting thing. Diary. I'm just going to scroll through this relatively quickly. You can pause and read if you want.
Philip Howard Clark. Yeah, that's the guy that was completely missing in the new game. And this whole story bit about him being captured by the morphs and whatnot. His whole bit has been missing. Okay, hopefully I can jump here. Yep. Now those things, I never noticed they have blue arms actually. I always thought they were green and red. Those things are bitches because they damage you just by running into you. But you kill them in one hit, so it's all nice, I guess. In a sense. Let's wait for it to go there. Boom. And there it goes. It's just all about the terrain. The terrain can be advantageous, advantageous for you and can be not advantageous to you. Okay. We are already entering the territory that is level 7. I think we might have to... Well, I'm almost dead. Uh, I got hit a lot more on that part with the three morphs this time. We might have to go down... Here, first Shavata! That was... E let's run away. Interesting, I wanted to say, but yes. As you can see, you don't really need your force field anymore against these guys. They just go down. You prevent them from shooting. But they do still shoot three times. This is interesting. I, I forgot that. They do that in the new game too. They shoot multiple times at once. Well, not at once, but really fast. Yeah! Okay, that's... That's a move that really, really fucks me up when they jump like that. Okay, let's run a little bit. I wish... I really wish I could shoot them from up here, but that's a bit of maneuverability that is absent from the old game, unfortunately. Although, there is a level battlefield here, of course. Well, that was... Well, he was standing up here, he was preparing to some, so I'm not sure. Maybe a bit of bias. Do they really hurt me only when they stand up also in the old game? Because it seems like they can hurt me wherever they want. Hmm, I don't know. But I found it easiest to roll over them when they're really close. Not that close, obviously, but a couple steps from you, and then you roll. Like so. But then they're a bit faster than you are, so sometimes they might catch up to you. And hurt you real bad. Okay, so... This is level 7. When we open this part, it's level 7. So yeah, I guess going down there for the key is still part of level 6, otherwise it would be kind of ridiculously short. In the new game, this was a, that puzzle thing, part of the puzzle, I think. It was... Ah, fuck off. I wonder if I should have gone and healed myself. Well, this can go on for... Come on, man! I have half a mind to just... Yes, definitely. You cannot jump from the elevator because the button combination to get the elevator to ride up is the same as jump forward. It's up and Y or Y. And uh, yeah, that's interesting. At least you can jump from the elevators in the new game. Midway even, which was uh, fun when it didn't kill me. Which it mo most of the time it did. No oh, legs! Not many moving elements on this screen. I wonder why it lags here specifically. I hope, I really hope the Ultra Mind isn't like the laggiest room in the entire game. Or to, well, the Auxiliary Brain also. 
would be nice to have that quick. Although auxiliary brain is much easier in this game, I think. I don't remember be it having even enemies at all. Maybe there were a couple initial ones that you had to kill before taking on that thing, but no, it was pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna have this guy fuck me up. Did he just kill his dog? I think he killed his dog by just walking there. Well, the enemies can harm each other in this game, so it makes sense. Maybe his rising up is an area effect attack, or just it it works on the space that he occupies, and the dog happened to stand there. That's funny in a way. Also, I'm going to escape again. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that music really doesn't fit any part of the game except for the jungle for some reason. I don't remember. I mean, when I hear the tune, what I remember instantly is the first level where it plays first, obviously. I know, it just sounds jungly. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> almost. He had his shot right in his hand, but he didn't get to throw it. Alright, awesome. And the dog is now dead, so I don't have to worry about that. I wonder if... If if I hanged like this, hung or whatever, if the dog would be able to bite me by the feet. The save point feels like it looks different from the others, for some reason. Okay, that thing is the, the the thing there, green thing is a teleporter. So I have to run there, get the key and teleport the hell away. Maybe run by some... Okay, thank you for that. Run by an enemy too, while I'm at it. I'm not in the mood for these shenanigans, Mr. Morph. Just going to peacefully grab this key and then roll. And then take one step. Oh, he could totally probably get up. Uh, no, he couldn't. He's just going to hang in there for all eternity. Also, there's a stone for no reason. Sure. Okay, I cannot climb here, I don't think. Oh, well. Level 7, here we go. This would have been almost as short as level 5 if I didn't combine the two. It only makes sense to combine them because they are kind of parts of one big level. I'll stop that. Just does not work. And it's a pity that I cannot run all across this part and jump from the lift like I did in the new game because that was convenient. Say what you wish, but some parts, some things, the new game did better. Jumping off lifts is a major gripe I had with this game. And that has been solved. I wonder if I keep my mouse. I probably lose my mouse when I transition the levels. I don't really keep the inventory, usually. Bam! Now we are at level 7. Um, let's see. Yep, my mouse is sadly gone, as is my stone. I still have this useless key that I'll never be able to actually use. Because I used it for this door that didn't even open on this level. Wonderful. Let's go take a peek at the escape pod point is because I know where it is, but still, I'm just doing this for you guys. There it is, there is my ship. Ah, uh, no, I, I have to do lots of things before this. Now I'm going to f have to figure out that part of the level that I've completely forget about each time. The between the elevators and the, tele the the portal that you have to leave on the ground or something because for some reason you cannot go d back down oh and this is a bit of a bitchy part especially if you get hit like this 
Oh, I guess I positioned myself okay here. Eh. Not really a lot of space for them to stand up here, but who cares? Well, I care because I want them to stand up, but still. At least I don't do a double roll under that part because it's... Uh, it's inconvenient when I have to do that. Okay, that guy was stuck in an AI loop that I could appreciate. This guy is stuck in an AI loop that I do not appreciate in the slightest. Come on. Stand up. Stand up and stay up. Can I only shoot them when they are crouching to shoot me? Hmm. Well, the thing is you find out. Okay, there's two exploding mice. <laughs> Which I don't think are actually have a point. I could probably do a bit of damage with them, but they are think come on, step forward once. Uh I think they're intended for that part up there with the bombs and shit, but you can just teleport across. So what's the point? Yep. So now I have my mice. I wonder if I could use them in some other fashion. Okay, there should be a couple enemies here. Oh. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't actually remember how to open that. Ah, uh, probably it's what we do up there. Okay, so here... I don't know, I'm not sure if this is the intended way. But you have, at least I had to leave the teleporter down here. Because when you go up... Well, there's a place here. Here, th that ledge, that ledge with the tri trip wire. It kind of... I feel like at one point I was able to drop down and grab hold of that ledge. Like I did in the elevator shaft in the new game and I didn't actually die from that. Yeah, almost, almost succeeded with my maneuver. Yeah, you can't even pull out your gun agilely enough. Oh wow, hit him in the back. That's an animation that I don't think I ever saw before. Okay, have to get these dudes together. A bit closer. Well, how did that miss? Not that it helped me much, but still. So I kind of forget, is there any point to going out there now that I opened this? Probably is, yeah, I probably there's a door in the future that I have to open. Nope. Okay. I get it, I picked up a key, nice, nice, nice. So... To go back up there, let's see if I can pull it off. I will just, since it's science, I will just rewind if I die here. But let me show you what's annoying about this. That lift is somehow tripping the trip wire. And this switch sends the lift down. So the turret is not shooting, but the lift also is unaccessible to us. And let me see, I thought I could kind of slightly maybe drop like this and grab onto that, but no, you can Yes, you can, actually! Oh, so you don't need to leave your teleporter down here. Oh well. But I I think at some point maybe I tried this and I'm, I guess I, I let go of the button or something, so I didn't manage to actually grab hold of there. And you saw how Conrad entered the animation of falling helplessly to his death there already. So I didn't really... it didn't look like he would be able to... You know. Okay, that guy is a jerk face. Uh, it didn't look like he would be able to... grab hold of a ledge in that state. But he... he did manage to do that. And this is the part of level 6 that I pointed out is a shared by the two. Okay, for that guy, I usually don't bother with him. I usually just go in there, press the switch and teleport away. 
Maybe getting hit once in the process, but still, it's better than trying to fight him in that little pit where you can't even roll, I think. So, what would be the best way? Well, still, yeah, one hit is inevitable. And goodbye. I think if I was playing by myself, I would probably go up there again and uh, heal up, but no, that's just a bit too long. Now I have multiple keys, as you can see, and one of them will never work ever, I think. One of them is for this. At least I think it got rid of it. Yep, when I used it, it got rid of it. That's nice, and I still have those two mice, which I'm not sure I'll ever be able to use in any useful way. But still. Okay, yeah, that was the door that opened. Uh, and here is a scary part, but thankfully there is a safe here. Yep. <laughs> I think I might just have used the teleporters here before. Also, I think I might be able to jump over them. Something with the uh, disintegration this level just makes you able to jump over. Yep. You would not be able to do that with any other S in the game, I think. But these are a bit more forgiving. And that is precisely what saves you if you wish. Oh, that is okay. The key still stays in my pocket. Uh, that is precisely what saves you the trouble of actually running back from the place where you set the explosive charges. You can just leave a teleporter and jump over the two the two things, the two disintegrators that are uh, supposed to make you use the teleporter to cross them. Also, this dog. I have no idea how to pass this place without getting hit by it at least once. Can I throw my mouse? No, my mouse just produces a force field, apparently. Maybe when it stops there, I can drop down and hit it once. Ah, you fucking can't. Die. I almost did it. If I didn't attempt to shoot there, I would be able to do that. Oh, well, at least I know. Suddenly it is very laggy. Okay, and apparently the lifts also set off mines. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, now time for... Wow! What? Why there is there two force fields now? Now, well, anyway, time for the auxiliary brain fight. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to shoot. Ah, crap. Yeah, this part is a bit annoying because there is mines and turrets, but at least I don't think there is a respawning morphs. It could be a song. No, well, I'll be back. Wow, did he miss you see him actually walk? I don't think I ever saw him walk before. That was a first. Ha! <laughs> Looked like he was blown away by the mind there for a second. Okay, now this part is extremely easy. That thing is turning around and if you hit it, it shoots, I think. Or it doesn't even do that. Yeah, if you hit the shield, it shoots the turret. If you don't, you wear down the brain. Now it's dead. You see, it wasn't such a difficult fight at all. Well, to the credit of the new game, um, in it the fight also didn't take w too long at all. For some reason it went down very quickly. 
Also, this hassle to sh throw down the teleporter is kind of ridiculous. I miss being able to aim where I throw things. And now I'm back here. So we go to to the left, go to the Ultra Brain once again. I think the hardest parts of the level might be behind us, actually. I think some of those parts up there were the, diff the most difficult for me. So apart from maybe one finicky situation with a morph, uh, it should be fine. It should. Wow, I'm near death. Should be fine. We should be totally, totally have this in the bag. Phew, yeah. That never gets old, just jumping and landing in that position. I don't think there is a single move in any game that I ever saw that makes you feel more like an action hero or a badass than that. Kind of a redundant energy generator here, but let's go down. There's a long shaft. Okay. I forgot to leave my teleporter back up there, but I think here would be sufficient to show off both some of the exploding platforms, well, I mean collapsing platforms, and being able to skip part of this with my teleporters. So here we go. I don't think that's actually does anything. Let's find out. Probably like cause a lift or something stupid like that. Oh well, here we go, auxiliary, well, actually, the Super Ultra Brain 4000. Wow, there's three of them. The initial morphs might have some health, but the rest of them here are respawning, and that's... Whoa, laggy. Uh, way too laggy. Yeah, they have almost no health at all. But... You do have to alternate... Ah, no. You do have to... Find an opening. How did no one get shot there? Okay, in here you have to shoot the brain from alternating sides. So, find an opening on the morphs, climb here, kill more. Wow, he died in one... Wow, do they really die in one shot now? That's a bit ridiculous. But sure, I won't mind. Yeah! Phew! No. Oh, at least you hit me. Okay, gotta climb here before a morph. Oh, no. Well, ah, oh, fuck you. It's a bit of a bitch trying to do this. At least they really do die in one hit. That's amazing. I wish they all did that. Okay, now I'm close enough. Come on. They definitely did not die in one hit when I played this as a kid. I don't remember this level of easiness. I might have died in two or three, or I might just be misremembering completely. Also, I'm not even going to wait for that one. I'm just going to climb up here. Uh. Yes! I think I killed it. I think I might have killed it. Well, just just to be sure, let's shoot it from this side. Although I heard the door open. Yeah, and the door is open. Alright, we're done here. I don't think morphs are going to spawn again. Alright. And that opened that door there with the entrance. Now, if I was smart... Yeah, I would probably go back and heal right at the top of that left 
left lift is my teleport yep still here nice mm. Woo. all right here we go last stretch excitement and uh, more excitement actually I wonder why the morph planet didn't have as much technology oh crap it's much hoo 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 okay okay I think this is an awkward fight here At some point there's going to be an awkward fight around here. Another exploding mouse. Yep, there is a guy there, and now there goes something here. I have to fight him in the pit where I don't think I can actually reliably roll. Let's see. Oh, I can. Nice. So I thought if you end up too close to the wall, you can't point your gun at a wall too close. It's kind of stupid. And Connor would stand up and take a step back, and that would just mess everything up. But you can remember this part after the the layout here is not the same at all, but similar enough, I think. Okay, I'm going to reposition myself in a slightly cheaty way. Uh, this is where there was a health charger. In the new game up there where I found the exploding mouse. I wish there was one in here. But oh well. Did he drop a key? Yep, he dropped a key. Beep. It's not this key though. It's this key. Okay. If you remember the layout of the level from the last game, this is the last part at all. I'm just going to run. Although I don't remember where exactly the... Oh no, I have to kill these dudes. Damn it. The door won't open if I don't kill them. Oh well. Then I will run in safety though. Jump over the disintegrators. And be on my way to escape and ending and finishing the let's play. Although... After this, I will still have to record something from Reminiscence, at least the cutscenes. Honestly, I was thinking about doing like a run without commentary in Reminiscence. And uploading it for the sake of it. Maybe it, it's a bit more accurate. Also to show how it feels when there is no lagging. No, I'm probably dead. Yep. Okay, here we go. This time I'm surely going to feel, 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 yeah, feel, kill them. I need a... Uh, Grown up, and by that I mean a force field. Damn it! Oh well. I could probably fight them on the borders of the screen here. No, I probably shouldn't. That would make it easy to escape from their shoots. Shoots, yes, yeah, sh shots shooting. But it would make it harder to escape from their actual selves. Though it's not as laggy on the screen. No! Ah, shit. Go. I'm still not dead, that's a plus. Yeah, I hoped one of them would die there. Or here. Yes, one of them dead. Dead, yeah. You dead, bro. Alright, now we're we're set. Let's see how close the 
things are the disintegrators okay they're pretty close to the screen I should probably jump like at the border of the screens there and I should be able to make it yep what no that doesn't count I definitely was able to make it earlier yep that's that's I don't know what I did differently I guess I guess maybe I jumped too late last time but there we go now I have an inner voice interrupts your thoughts trust me son <laughs> my inner voice calls me son uh, so there is a bit of a compromise between running the full uh, gauntlet and skipping a, a bit of it let's set the bomb here use the switch to drop the platform down and run the fuck away now I cut my distance I have to run in about half so it should be easier skip the cutscenes we have no time to watch them should be easier but still a bit tense yep these things fall down and run across them I don't think there's actually any danger if you just run forward without stopping Do we have a timer in our inventory actually? We should. Yeah, that thing is a timer. 52, that's way too much for the couple screens that are left. Oh, well, remember what I said? Running, not rolling. This was the last obstacle. I didn't know what to do here. Actually, let's try jumping off here. You cannot jump off here. But how? What? Now? Ah, oh! There's an elevator. Yeah. I like this corner a bit more than the new one. He's a bit more... I don't know... Mellow, down to earth or something. Not as big of a tool. But he types really slowly. Those lines there are not parallel. Yeah, zero stars out of 75. Oh no, big white thing. Oh, it's just my ending. There we go, that's flashback. And we get all the cutscene montage again. Set to this loop and the credits and whatnot. I don't know what even to say here. I shouldn't probably ramble too much. There is not much to say. I think I said all I think about this game before I started. Or in the first video at least. Because, well, there's an advantage of doing a let's play not blind. You already know what you think about the game. And yeah, this is a great game, I really like it, it's interesting, it's fun, it's cool looking, it's atmospheric. Just uh, most of the things about it, I don't want to say everything about it, but most of the things about it are great. And the new game was also great in its own way, it allowed me to exercise my AI exploitation, exploitation that I love so much. 
and just finding funky ways to do stuff, like punching people off cliffs repeatedly. Um, oh yeah, that's what happens when the reactor blows up, by the way. Uh, so it was fun in a different sort of way, and a part like part of the fun of this game is nostalgia, part of the fun of that game is it being a remake of this. So it serves to make it more enjoyable and more interesting in a way, I guess. But good job anyways, good job everyone who made this game, you you did a good job. And I am glad to have bought the new game. Unlike the fucking Amnesia Machine for Pigs, I do not regret my purchase in the slightest. Which is a happy feeling. Ah uh, well. It's probably going to take a bit longer than I would be able to talk continuously. So I think I'll just shut up now and let you watch the rest of this in peace. This time there's definitely nothing after the credits, so you can if you don't want to watch this you can just shut the video down right now. Thank you for watching and see you next time wherever I do something. This let's play is not officially closed though. It's like the two two bonus videos that I promised to well I actually did them eventually. I will do something in involving uh, reminiscence, at least the cutscenes, maybe the whole, whole like the big uh, walkthrough without commentary of the entire game in one sitting or something, maybe sped up, or maybe just the cutscenes, I don't know. If you have any opinion, don't hesitate to tell me, or I will just decide by myself because there's usually no one to tell me their opinions. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the final video of the Let's Play, just for people who want to see the cutscenes without any cuts, because they were cut. Uh, in the SNES version, and also admire the horrible, horrible Amiga version music. But yeah, on that note, I don't think I have anything else to say, so... This is the finally goodbye for real. Goodbye. That's a bit abrupt. Oh well.